what is meant by loop just a moment <coughs> so here in this video we are discussing about loops what is a loop <coughs> see loop is a structure which contains a set of statements loop is a structure which contains a set of statements what is the it, it is one of the programming concept what is the use of a loop generally you are writing a procedure the procedure having set of statements maybe queries or maybe programming statements so whenever you are executing a procedure each statement or query each statement or query is executing once every query is executed only once it is not executing repeatedly <coughs> but here what is a loop loop contains a group of statements this group of statements executed repeatedly for the specific number of times remember that again i am repeating loop is a structure or it is a programming concept which is used to execute a group of statements repeatedly for specific number of times there should be a break for the loop no doubt at all okay so what is a loop loop is a programming concept which is containing set of statements and what is the use of loop it is used to execute group of statements repeatedly for specific number of times so how many types of loops here in plsql we have three types of loops <coughs> what are they first one simple loop first simple loop what is the syntax of simple loop when here is a condition and statements end loop <coughs> next one second loop is for loop i will explain each and every loop for loop what is the syntax of for loop for this is a variable in optionally you can use reverse optionally you can use reverse here range and loop statements begins with loop here are the statements and then use end loop next type of loop is while loop next type of loop is while loop while specify condition and end loop three types of loops what is the use of each loop let us see <coughs> here first so any loop the target is executing a group of statements repeatedly executing a group of statements repeatedly if you want to insert the data record by record record by record repeatedly then use loops if you want to take the values for each employee i want to take a single value then repeat the process same then use loop see simple loop here simple loop syntax begins with the loop keyword so if you use the simple loop within the procedure then while executing a procedure 
the execution control simply enters into the loop before entering into the loop it is not checking any condition here before entering into the loop the execution control will not check any condition why because there is no condition here simply execution control enters into the loop execution control enters into the loop and it will execute these statements it will execute these statements and now <coughs> and after that it will execute these statements before end of the loop immediately it will check the exit status of the loop so if the condition here this is called as a loop condition this is known as loop condition the execution control check loop condition if the loop condition is true then exit command will be again i am repeating if the loop condition is true then exit command will be executed if it is is executing ex stop the loop execution it is exiting from the loop if it is not exiting then <coughs> it will the execution control go back to beginning of the loop it will do this process and after that it will check the condition again again go back okay so this process is continuous loop states in this loop are executed continuously and the loop condition result is true whenever the loop condition result is true it will stop the execution <coughs> it will stop the execution remember this what are the disadvantages of this loop in which case i can prefer simple loop we are doing some process now i want to do a particular task repeatedly before starting that task i don't want to check any conditions sim at least one time i want to do that at least one time it was finished before repeating it second time i want to check the condition see if you want to perform a task again i am repeating you want to perform a task repeatedly but first time i don't want to check any condition unconditionally i want to do one task first time but before repeating it before reporting it then i want to do some <coughs> check conditions see the best example is <coughs> <coughs> let us say you are applying for a credit card the company is offering some kind of things unconditionally we are giving these many number of points payback points so once you got your card means once you were once you got your card once you got your card on the first swipe maybe it is 100 rupees or 1000 rupees or 10000 rupees whatever the transaction amount it is right on the first swipe you will get 2000 payback points but from the second swipe onwards means from the second transaction onwards based on transaction amount you will get the payback points what is this unconditionally you are assigning something just you are swiping your card so you are not checking any payment or you are not checking any transaction amount <coughs> okay means at least one time without checking any condition you are making the process or you are performing some task that is called as simple loop okay first time you, they are not checking any condition to give the 2000 payback points to you but from the second moment onwards they will check what is the transaction amount you are making based on transaction amount only they will give you the payback points so listen the logic the every concept 
is taking from real time only so listen carefully and whenever you are having such kind of situation in your project development try to recall this points yeah <clears throat> so first time i don't want to check any condition but from the second time onwards if you want to check the condition then go for simple loop okay next <clears throat> at what time this loop will be terminated whenever the condition result is true then the loop will be stopped if the condition result is false the loop again and again it will be repeated next one <clears throat> for loop so what is the target of for loop used to execute a group of statements repeatedly used to execute a group of statements repeatedly here let me explain you the syntax is for for loop begins with for here is a variable name any user declared variable or direct variable name in this is the range for this range of values or range of values for this range of values do this what is the meaning of this it's a very simple first time don't use reverse keyword first time in operator taking the first value from this range taking the first value from this range that value saved into variable so variable is getting one new value for each new value in this variable for each new value in this variable the loop statements are executed so let us say here i am specifying the range is <coughs> 1 dot dot 10 what is this dot 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 represents range so first time in operator takes one one is saved into variable okay variable is getting new value one initially it is a null value now it is getting one now the loop statements are executed before stopping the loop execution execution control go and check the remaining values in the range take the second value second value saved into variable so now variable got new value for that new value it will execute the loop statements next three three saved into variable execute loop statements next four four saved into variable execute loop statements so how many number of values in the range how many number of values in the range decides the number of times the for loop statements execution if in this range if there exist thousand values thousand number of times the loop statements are executed if there are only five values in this range then five number of times the loop statements are executed <coughs> okay so for loop target is execute a group of statements repeatedly so number of times execution is depending on number of values in the range and in operator by default takes the values from the range like this first value to last value first time one second time two third time three like this suppose if you use reverse keyword along with in if you are using reverse keyword along with in then in operator takes the values from the range from last value to first value remember this if you use reverse keyword also then in operator taking the values in reverse order last value to first value number of times execution cannot be changed but initially it will take the values from last value to first if you use reverse if you don't use reverse in operator takes the values from first value to last value <coughs> okay here also before entering into the loop it is not checking any condition 
before entering into the loop it is not checking any condition simply in operator takes the first value from the range and go into the loop and one more point is generally before using any variable before using any variable within the program or processor before using any variable we should declare the variable but for loop variable need not be declared without declaration you can simply use the name of the variable it is not mandatory to declare it remember <coughs> okay now coming to the part of while loop what is while loop same target while loop used to execute a group of statements repeatedly but here there is a major difference between other loops and while loop what is the difference is <coughs> in case of simple loop and in case of for loop we are not checking any condition simply the execution control enters into the loop but in case of while loop first it will verify condition if the condition result is true then execution control enter into the loop and it will execute the statements and before stopping this next time it will verify the condition again so if still the condition result is true then execution control coming into the loop again again go back to beginning of the loop check the verify the condition if the result is true then again coming to the loop execute the statements so how many number of times these statements are executed how many number of times these statements are executed that depends on loop condition result so whenever loop until loop condition is true it will repeat the loop execution whenever the condition result is false it will stop the execution of loop okay in case of while loop if the loop condition result is true repeat the loop if the loop condition result is false it will stop here in case of simple loop if the loop condition result is true then stop the loop execution if the loop condition result is false then repeat the loop execution reverse of while remember this <coughs> so this is what about okay so while loop execution number of times executions number of executions in while loop depends on condition result whereas for loop statement executions number of times executions depends on range of values again simple loop statements number of times executions depends on loop condition again now let me write a simple procedure let me write very simple procedure by using <coughs> simple loop one procedure and for loop second procedure and while loop third procedure let us see very simple procedure i am writing just for understanding the logic of the procedure see let me write a simple program program 1 to display 1 to 10 values 1 to 10 values so this is by using simple loop remember here i am using simple loop <coughs> you are writing program declare x equal to x this is int equal to 100 my target is to display 1 to 10 values okay begin at some times a simple 
will generate wrong in, wrong output that's why i am writing this program loop dbms underscore output dot put underscore line x value and x equal to x. exit when x less than or equal to 10 yeah x greater than 10 then exit end loop end of your program here x value is initially 100 so simply execution control enters into the loop it is display x value first time it will display 100 and now x is becoming as 1 of 1 1 true condition true then it will exit from the loop what is your target display 1 to 10 values so here this is the output you are getting from the above program is it in between 1 to 10 no it is not between 1 to 10 so this value is wrong okay so this value is wrong before checking condition then only if you want to enter into the loop then definitely it will never display any wrong output so in such cases don't use simple at least once without any wrong input values then use the simple loop so if you are expecting some kind of input values then don't use simple loop or simply you can generalize like this before execution of the loop statements if you want to check a condition then don't use simple loop so in which case you will get the correct result here see that should be assigned to one and then then whenever x greater than 10 it will display 1 to 10 now let me write the program to <coughs> so here i will give you one value just you want to display reverse value of this reverse number of given number using for loop using for loop we don't have to use any logic like c or c plus plus very simple. so create or replace procedure my procedure name is procedure reverse number it is taking number n so int is the type number is you are calculating reverse number this is also int and if you want to take the reminder then take the reminder so let us say reminder this is also int begin by using for loop you can display the you can find out reverse number and display it so here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line given number is n and now for x in <coughs> one dot dot how many number of times i need to repeat the loop how many number of digits in the given number that many number of times one dot dot length of n okay so initially we have no reverse number reverse number for this so sub str of using substring take the given value from the given value 
how many number of digits I need to take. Yeah, here use reverse keyword. Yeah, from the last I want to take one digit each time. Reverse one dot dot length of n. So from last last digit already saved under x from x position I want to take one digit. So repeat this process until all digits are over and finally I want to display reverse number and loop here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line reverse number is rnbo and after this end of your procedure procedure reverse number so no need to maintain any reminder let us see let me execute it on the board see here <coughs> the procedure is taking one number assume that you are executing the procedure like this execute procedure r and o r r e v and o you are submitting 1 2 3 4 this is the number you are submitting what is your final target it has to display 4 3 2 1 okay so n value next one dot dot length of n just let me dry run the program x value <coughs> and from sub str of something n comma x comma one and finally you are getting reverse number so the reverse number i will write here listen carefully what is the n value you have submitted one two three four so what is the what is this here one dot dot how many number of times it will execute length of n four digits are there four times the loop will be executed x what is the first value of x here reverse keyword enable in operator take the last digit from the range what is the last digit from the range 4 initially what is the value of x 4 now execute this sub str sub s n 1 2 let me write like this 1 2 3 4 comma what is the x value 4 1 what is the use of sub str taking substring given string taking substring from given string from this string go to fourth position this is the fourth position from this position how many number of digits you want to take 1 your answer is 4 okay 4 appended to reverse number so is there any previous reverse number no here you are using sub str okay from this 4 is appended to the previous one nothing is there so 4 itself next time it is repeating the loop next time reverse keyword enable the in operator to take last but one value now again 1 2 3 4 3 1 go to third place and take one digit so now 3 it is getting 3 is 3 now already reverse number 4 is there so 4 concatenated with 3 now 4 3 is your answer <coughs> next time 2 of the result is 2 itself here 4 3 2 next 1 so here 1 itself so 4 3 2 1 this is the execution of reverse number
by using simple for loop and by using reverse keyword. Now, <coughs> you can use any number of problem. It is very easy to find out. See, if you know for these many number of times I want to execute loop, if you know that range, then use for loop. If you don't know what is the range, but I want to repeat it by checking a condition, then use while loop. So, without condition, I want to check once, then use simple loop. Okay? So, we will see the hands on part in the next video about conditional statements, procedure calling statements, and also loops. Thank you.